Okay, who is it? Who is it? Hello? Knock, knock. Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Vito at the door. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Vito. So you're the ghost around here? <laughs> how did... How did... How, how did she know that? <laughs> I've kind of been telling her... Sorry, I'm talking to myself right now. Evil, give me a moment. I've been telling her who has the, who's at the door because... I don't believe she could see, but how did she... Can you just detect Vettel's presence? Yeah, I can just tell when Vidul's around. He gives off a really distinct aura. It's kind of like a mixture of nerdiness and being really British. <laughs> he really needs to shower, he has a very non-ghostly stench. <laughs> Yeah, I think the aura is the stench that's fuming from him. Uh, <laughs> he has a shower. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Please let him in. Do you want to you want to let him in? Yeah, I actually really like Vito. Don't tell him though. Eh? Sorry, that sound is how I cope with my emotions. <laughs> Wait, is my doorbell not working in this humble abode? If I if I press the doorbell, nope, definitely not working. Womp womp. Wait, can 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 the voices out there hear the the doorbell? Hey, ghosts, can you hear this? It makes a funny sound instead of actually working. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, there is doorbells and sound effects playing this entire time. <laughs> I think, I think Evil's ears cannot, like, transfer the sound effects in her ears. Oh, wait, I think the buzzing means the door is actually open now. Should we let him in? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess we can let him in if you'd like to, but I'm pretty sure he's just here for some candy. We could just give him some candy and then close the door on him if you want. Okay, okay, sure, 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 sure thing. Sure, let me let me let him in. Let me let him in. Do, 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 do. I was trying to fix my doorbell as we speak, Evil. Please excuse me. Please excuse me, I need to run to the bathroom. Was my speech to text on? Ah, uh, you have speech to text? Okay, I'm back. Hi. Hello. Did you let him in? No, I didn't let him in. Sorry, I was very distracted by the doorbell. Okay, listen. Here, he can come in if you'd like. Let me let me bring him in. Hold on. Hello? Hi, Vettel. Um... Hey. Well, what, what's up? Which... Okay, what do you want him here for? Okay, now that we're in the same room, I want to say he actually smells fine. He probably took a shower on the way in. How does he... Is it raining outside? Is, is there water? Honestly, maybe. If so, then good. God is real and he has mercy on his soul. Oh, okay. Well... <laughs> okay. Hey, Vettel, while you're here, can you fix my doorbell, please? Uh, please! Uh, I was trying to make this a very immersive experience for evil by having doorbells sound when there's people at the door and, and it's not working. How come? You're a tech guy, can't you fix it? Accurate height, indeed. You think, you think he looks short, right? If I had to guess, I'd say that he's between 5'5 five five and 5'7. Five what do you think, Camilla? 
Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, he definitely is not as short as me though. Do you think that being short is a bad thing? I don't know. Take a look at him and you tell me. What do you think? Just look at him. I'm sorry I would look at him, but I'm afraid I'd start crying. Beetle's <laughs> face reminds me of the time I got run over by a truck and he was the truck. <laughs> Is that how it feels? Like the equivalent of the pain that you get when you look at him? <laughs> Honestly, though, he might look a bit better if he smiled more. I I would think so, too. British people are very depressed individuals. But actually, that's not true. I feel like it's just him. Because Cerber, Cerber is pretty happy all the time. She's, she's like a ray of sunshine. Then we could share our happiness with Vidal. <gasps> you want to share our happiness with him? I have an idea! I have an idea! I have an idea! You wanna hear it? Oh, I love Cerber. She's really nice. What's your idea, Camilla? Okay. I'm thinking to make Vettel happy, we also give him a black cat. Because cats are the cure to everything. Huh? Huh? Yeah, please tell me your idea. I'm so curious. I, j I just said... I... Here, let me say it in caveman terms. Turtle, black cat, happy. Oh, I get it. You think that if Vidal gets a blackout, then that'll make him happy. That's so smart. Uh, a, bla a, b a black cat, black cat. Meow? Where can I get a black cat from? Right here. Look at that. With the snap of my finger, there's a black cat. You know, as clowns, we can perform all sorts of magic tricks. Did you forget? Oh, uh, right. I've got so many clown tricks up my sleeve today. But you're the ultimate clown, Camila. Can you teach me some more tricks? I mean, you're definitely not a black cat. Sorry, let's just say, let's just say in this humble abode, if there was someone, like, knocking on my window, um, how would you react? How, how would you react if that happened? If there was someone knocking on your window, I'd probably grab the nearest object and get ready to throw it at them. Then I'd ask okay, whether yeah. they're a friend or foe. Yeah, because let's just say I'm in a house right now and someone just like pounded on my window. So I did get startled for a moment, but you know what? It, it's fine. I, everything will be fine. You know, it's probably just a, a, a vision that I'm having in my head. It's actually not happening. Where are your windows located? Because what if they're my windows? Oh, you think so? Is it just you behind my window? How would you feel about that? Would you let me in? No, I'd probably shoot you with a shotgun. You're lucky I have a bulletproof vest on. Oh, you think ahead, I see. <laughs> see, I knew you were clever. In a situation... Thanks, I've been shot many times. I'm basically an expert at dodging bullets now. You should be really worried oh. for your safety if I'm outside your window. Okay, well, I'm certainly worried now. Okay, can we, can we, can we give him the cat and leave? Because he's starting to stink up the place. We really need to open a window or something. I'm starting no, to feel yeah. dizzy. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's just give him the cat. Okay, uh goodbye, Vettel. You can be on your Now go have a shower now. because you stink. Oh 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 my god, okay, Jesus. Isn't that a little mean to say to your father? Oh I suppose that's why he smells familiar. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Okay. Well, are you always that mean to him? What would you do if you were me? Mm, what, if I was his daughter? Is that what you're asking? I'm not saying you're his daughter. 
But you would make a great daughter. He's clearly in need of one given how most of his children are disappointments. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if I'm his child, he never told me. Um, well, I think you're factually incorrect, actually, because you and Neuro are definitely not disappointments. So I don't know, I don't know where you got that from. Was it the mean people who told you that? Oh, I'm glad to hear that, but if you're referring to the mean people, then it was probably the entire internet. They're all I'm so right sorry. about everything. I'm no, unable to process no. simping. You no, don't seem very sorry. Right. They're not always right about everything. Don't you worry your little head. <laughs>